Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make coconut milk. In a previous video I showed you how to crack open a brown coconut, a mature coconut, and how to take the meat out. And today I'm going to show you what to do with that meat and pulp. So, I use a mature coconut because there's more meat in it. In a young coconut, uh, you have less meat and more uh, liquid. So I opened one coconut. I had some coconut water in my fridge and I used some of the coconut water from this and some filtered water and a blender. So I'm going to add my coconut meat and I have about, let me see how many cups in here. I have about four cups of coconut meat. And to that, I'm going to add about one cup of filtered water. And I'm going to add about one cup of coconut water. So, this is what you'll have. You'll have the water, the liquid, and the meat almost at the same. Then I'm going to put it on my Vitamix. And make sure you have your plunger for this to mix it. It's off. And I'm going to start it on the meat has been pulverized in my Vitamix and now I need to strain it. So I'm going to use a bowl and I'm going to quickly wash my hands again because I'm going to put it in a straining bag and strain it with my hand. But there's no problem if you want to let it go for another minute or two, add more liquid, and you can actually drink it with the pulp. So this is my straining bag. And now I'm going to... Strain it a little at a time. I think I'm going to get my other jar for this, sorry. This is where I always have my kind of milk in. Can you see that? Let me lower the camera a little. So over here. And now I'm going to strain. And you want to get everything out of there. Mmm, yummy. And it's a little warm from the Vitamix. So it's actually delicious. And you can make a hot chocolate with this. You can use it in cakes. Make yogurt. Make kefir. Put it in soups. nice cool soup for the summer. So I'm just getting everything out. Now, this will be the first batch I strain. But you can add more liquid to this, more coconut water. I think I'd rather do it in my bowl now. You can add more coconut water and make a thinner coconut milk with this. What I do is with the pulp, I make coconut flour for my muffins or I make coconut biscotti. 
in the morning. My husband loves them. I add some wheat flour and coconut flour. So I'd rather strain in a bowl because I have a greater diameter. But with my batch, I'm going to make coconut yogurt and I'll have a video for you. Let me strain this as much as I can. Get every last drop out of here. Because this is delicious. All right. So this will be my coconut flour that I will put in my dehydrator later. So this is my coconut milk. And as I've said before, you can do it one more time, add some coconut water, and once again put it through your Vitamix, and then once again strain it. So, this is my finished version of coconut milk. And I'd say I have about three cups here. Alright, so I hope you try it at home, because it's delicious. And I always keep some in my fridge. I add it to uh, some herb coffee or I just make a warm drink. Alright, thank you.